Hello everyone and welcome to another video where I'm going to be discussing the best way to get a 501st army. So I'll start with the minifigures. So there is the pilot which you can get in the headhunter set. Uh, these minifigures, these are in two sets, in the headhunter and in the in a walker set that you can get then there is also the uh, ones you can get from the 501st battle pack which is this one this one and this one and you can also get a Captain Rex minifigure right now I don't have one I only have the phase one version so I'm working towards getting the phase two. Uh, but I also have this custom minifigure. It's only got custom arms, but it's a custom of these ones here. Um, but I gave him some guns so that he stands out a bit more. But I don't really advise getting the uh, custom ones because they don't seem to go very well with all of the other ones so depending if you want to make phase one or phase two uh, phase two is easier than phase one with phase one you can only get captain rex and uh, there's some blue ones that you can actually get i don't have them right now but um they're not actually five of first variants but i quite like them uh Moving on, there is this C3, sort of C3PO kind of uh, protocol droid. Um, and I added him because I don't have any other use for him. And I thought that it'd be quite nice to have a, um, a little protocol droid for the 501st. I know C3PO kind of counts, but anyway, there's also this R2D2 which I thought would go quite well with it, considering it's blue and r 2 is blue. Then there's also Anakin here. Um, and uh, I've forgotten which set I got him in, but you can get an Anakin in that set, which I prefer to this one, because um, Anakin from this set looks a bit more realistic. So I definitely do not recommend getting this one. On another note, these uh, troopers have a different head to these troopers. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and get a whole load of these heads, put them on these on all of my troops that have got this face because I think it looks a lot nicer but you can keep those faces if you want or but um anyway I also uh, you must have seen uh so there's a walker set and I couldn't be bothered to rebuild the walker I'm a bit lazy but um uh, I just turned this into a bit of a weapons rack because I realised that uh, with the speeder when uh, the clones were on the speeders there isn't actually anywhere for them to put their weapons so I just put it on the little rack so moving on to the walkers so these are the ones from the battle pack I did get two because I bought one with my money and got another for Christmas. But these are really good. I definitely advise getting these for your 501st battle pack. Also, I made this little um, walker. I mean, uh, I used uh, like an instructions thing, but then I changed all the colours. It's not amazing, but... I'm going to use it because I think it looks pretty cool. 
Oh, and if you're wondering, that fiber first thing was from the walker that I made that with. Let's put that aside. Then I also made a second one, which isn't as good. It's a bit colourful and weird, so I might not use that one. Anyway, I also made this little Y-wing with the colours of the fiber first. I'm definitely not going to use this because it's not to scale but I thought it'd be pretty cool to make anyway. Just put that there. Then there's the bark speeders. Again, I have two because I got two uh, sets. Um, these are also very good um, and accurate. Uh, and I just generally really like them. And then there is the headhunter, which I I I do very much like, but I prefer an ARC 170. But I don't have one in my collection yet, so I'm gonna have to use this for now. Then there's also Anakin's um, uh, Jedi interceptor, which uh, is actually quite new out uh, and is good set uh, and I think it goes pretty well with the headhunter but uh, you don't have to get it because it's very optional because you mm. but uh, I also recommend getting a gunship for all of the clones because uh, with this you get an extra clone that doesn't have a ship to be in. And same with the battle pack. And you probably want somewhere to fly all your clones. Uh, if you're doing a mock or if you just generally want to play with them. So I definitely recommend getting a gunship. Yet again, I do not have this in my collection, but hopefully I will soon, and I will do a set review on it if I find the minifigures. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.